John, thanks for joining us for this week's CEO's blog. Uh, let's start about talking about Bathurst's Gold Crown Carnival. That sort of got off <laughs> in a little bit of the dark on, on Saturday night. Well, well, in the in the dark, eventually, uh, of course, it's uh, well known. Three races were run, and then we um, we lost, or the club lost all power on course. Um, uh, we were fortunate in the in the sense that uh, it occurred not when a race was on, but um, to the the people that um, rectified the problem, and it was a pretty major problem. Um, uh, the Hagney boys and also the the White boys, um, they did a marvellous job. Yeah. Um, we certainly were in a, uh, a disposition to um, postpone the meeting to the next day, mainly on the on the sense that um, if this occurred again during a race, uh, it could be all sorts of disaster. But uh, those guys did a wonderful job. Um, uh, Danny was smiling again. Mary Ann's tears had um, oh. uh, evaporated, yeah. and uh, of course Wayne and his committee um, were able to proceed with a, a great night in front of a very large crowd. Yeah. So it was about an hour of darkness, or? Well, darkness was for an hour. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we we end up running an hour and twenty minutes late, but at least we ran and. Uh, and we had some marvellous racing from that point on. Yeah, well, that's all the feature races sort of rolled on after that. So you had the um, the the gold tiara taken out by Major Kiss, and obviously the gold crown won by Bernie Hewitt and his horse College Chapel. Yeah, well, for for Major Kiss and and David Jack, that's that's what we all dream of. Um, uh, David was the breeder, he's the owner, the trainer, the driver, no doubt the strapper and the guy that um, took the horse home. Um, a, a great win there. Um, it, it, the Gold Crown Carnival is not new to David Jack. He's been there before. But when we talk about somebody achieving a, um, something in their lifetime, I'm sure um, the Gold Crown was well and truly up on uh, Bernie's uh, bucket list. Um, the crowd, when they started uh, chanting, uh, burn, 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 Bernie, it, it just made you feel so, so great to be in this sport. So um, well done to all, well, well done to every winner on the night because it was, was all about the horses. Um, yes, we had a bit of darkness there, but it was a great night. Yeah, oh, that's good. Nice to see that dreams do come true. So let's talk about the Tab Carnival of Cups. It was at Narrabri uh, on Monday. And when we talk about um, the, the big meetings in the regions, uh, Bathurst, that none gets bigger than that. But um, then we get out to the little places, and um, when, when we look at Narrabri, the, the Shepherdson family there, they are Narrabri mm. Harness Racing Club. Uh, that um, half mile um, red circuit um, racing was competitive and um, and there was a good cross section of winners so uh, yes they'll pack up until next year but uh, Narrabri will certainly be on again next year okay and then the the Carnival of Cups moves into West Wyalong next now West Wyalong that is on what day, Amanda? That is on next Sunday. Well, I was told that I, I got the day wrong last week, but um, that's good for the club because they probably got two gates. Those people that, that went on the date that it wasn't on and the people that enjoyed some really good racing there at West Wyalong last week. And, and it's, it's the precursor to uh, what will be a, a good meeting. Um, what can I say? Everything happens at these meetings. It was a non-TAB meeting, but we, we received a nice email this week about um, Jimmy Brown and um, his generosity to a little boy. Uh, Jimmy pulled $10 out of his pocket and the kid was able to go and buy buy some lollies. So well done, Jimmy Brown. You've um, you certainly uh, had a winner on the day and, mm. um, of course, um, you also made that boy's day, that little boy's day. I think I incorrectly said it's on next Sunday, but it's actually it's this Sunday. And they've got the West Wyalong Cup, so it is, yeah. Well, anyway, whatever day it is, I'm sure we can put it up on the screen <laughs> yeah. so there's no confusion. Even Ray Moore might turn up this time, so that'll be good. Hopefully the ambulances too. Oh, well, the ambulance will be there yeah. now. We, we let the past go and yeah. we're into the future now. OK, well, let's talk about the future. Uh, the Evolution Series, it's been... Um, We've got the lovely trophy sitting here in front of us, and it's been quite a success. It kicked off uh, last year, and it's going to be around next season as well. Yeah, well, Kevin and Kay Seymour have confirmed their sponsorship for another year, and of course, Harness Racing New South Wales were taking this forward because uh, the first year is 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 the testing year, um, testing as far as making sure we've got the calendar right and that people are aware of it. Um, there there have been some races not run. There have been some races that um, haven't met. 
the number, but uh, we'll review after the April series as to what how we take it forward in, mm -hmm. in August and going uh, into next year. But um, it's good, the Evolution series. Of course, it's a three-year-old series. Uh, the clubs pitch in, um, the Seymours pitch in as well, and uh, Harness Racing New South Wales pitch in. So uh, $10,000 heats into $20,000 finals, that, that's a nice three uh, event for three-year-old mm -hmm. paces. Yeah, most definitely. Okay, uh, let's talk about the HRCC meeting. Uh, it will be taking place next Tuesday at Penrith and uh, that's where Harness Racing New South Wales will deliver the budget. Yeah, the budget, it's 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 a major event um, every year. Uh, there's a process we need to go through but all the clubs, um, I, I strongly urge them to be there as we deliver this budget. Of course, they can take it away and they, they have the right to comment on the budget but it's, it's important. These meetings are held every two months. It's important that the clubs um, attend the meetings because that's when we, we, we deliver our messages mm -hmm. and we seek feedback back from, from the clubs. So um, yes, we're all really busy and a lot of these clubs are one run by very diligent volunteers but um, where they can, those dates are set well in advance. Um, um, some club officials uh, should be, from each of the clubs, should be attending. Okay, and just before I let you go, last week, John, after last week's CEO's blog, we received a, a Facebook comment from Craig Hudson. Um, just basically wanting to know Harness Racing New South Wales' stance on smaller tracks, uh, considering, you know, there's a new development at Wagga and it's a thousand metre track, the new track at Bathurst is a thousand metres. Well, our strategy hasn't changed. Uh, we, we have thousand metre tracks, we've got a fourteen hundred metre track at um, an angle, but most of the other tracks are half mile tracks mm. and in uh, Craig's uh, email or, or post to us, he, he talked about how, how popular um, Gloucester Park is. Well, Gloucester Park has a thousand metre track. They have larger tracks, of course, as well. But um, it's, uh, I, I would suggest it's wherever you're backing the most winners would be your most popular track. But no, there, there's a, a cross section of tracks in New South Wales. Our, our strategy is very strong. We see it in the turnover. Um, of course, we see the best turnover at Menangle because that's where the best horses run. But mm. um, coming down from there, it's, it's certainly Newcastle and, and Bathurst possibly continuity and, and the consistency of racing there helps their turnover but mm. um, the biggest tracks and the smaller tracks they all hold their place and as I said the racing at Narrabri uh, uh, last um, Monday um, on, on that half mile track was as good as what it is at, at any other track so uh, mm. we have a strategy and, and we'll stick to that. Okay all right thanks for replying to that comment and thanks for your time in this week's edition John. My pleasure Amanda and by the way don't you think this is is a better situation. Yeah, hopefully it's a better situation. Well, people looking at me all the time, yeah. they just, they don't need it. They don't need it. Well, now hopefully. we've got some class to the show. <laughs> oh, well, let's hope so. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it as well. <laughs>